Hello everyone, welcome to Linux Server Tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to configure a chat server by using OpenFire in Linux system. OpenFire is a cross platform application used for instant messaging like GTalk. This type of instant messaging servers will provide chat services for the clients. OpenFire is a cross platform tool which can able to support Windows, Mac and Linux. OpenFire uses XMPP protocol which means extensible messaging and presence protocol. Now I am going to show you how to configure a OpenFire server. For configuring OpenFire server, you need to install two packages for OpenFire and SparkWeb. Now open your browser and go to this link here come down here you need to download this open fire package for configuring open fire server here this package is for client this is the spark messenger it is a messenger application for chatting we can download this spark or else we can download this spark web this is the web based authentication for our clients we can install this messenger application or we can install this web authentication package in our server and our client don't need to install any packages for authenticating for this tutorial i need these two packages to be installed in my server to configure a chat server by using open fire now click here if you are using linux here you can download RPM package for CentOS distribution. You can download .deb package for Debian based distributions. I have already downloaded these packages. So I close this. Here you can see I have downloaded these packages OpenFire and SparkWeb. Now I am going to install these packages. For that, run the command RPM space hyphen ivh space this package name copy and paste it here now hit enter now the package is installing now the package is installed after installing this open fire package we need to install one more library package for that run the command m space install space glibc dot i686 space hyphen y and enter now the packages is installing wait for something now the packages is installed after installing the packages we need to start the service for open fire for that run the command system ctl space start space open fire and enter now check the status for the service system ctl space status space open fire and enter now the service is started next we are going to install open fire in our server machine for that open your browser now enter your server ip address 192.168.5.88 this is my server ip and type colon 9090 this is the default port number for open fire now hit enter it will start the installation for open fire now we are in the installation page for open fire here choose your language and click continue here mention the domain name this port number is for admin console and this port number is for secure admin console now click continue if you are choosing this option means you need to create any external database by using MariaDB or MySQL or any other database management system if you don't want to install any external database 
choose this option and click continue here choose this default option if you are using any LDAP based authentication means you can choose this option now I choose this option and click continue here type the email address for the admin user now type the admin password now click continue now choose this option now the setup is complete click here to log in to admin console now log in as admin username is admin and the password now click login now we have logged into the open fire admin page here we can able to manage the open fire server this is our server information here system properties every details will be shown here you can go through it now we are going to create some users now click here here create new user now fill this information for creating a user now click here the user is created create another user now fill the information for another user this user is created now click here for user summary this two user can able to chat by using a chat messenger in their local machine for chatting they may need a messenger application like spark or anything else now click here here choose server settings and click here to enable our client to access the server we need to enable this and come down and enable this now save settings now our client can be able to access the server now click logout now open your terminal next time I'm going to install spark web for web based authentication for our client for online chatting here I have already downloaded the package for spark web now I start the package by typing the command tar space hyphen zxf and space this package name copy and paste here now hit enter now the package is extracted here you can see a directory is created in the name of spark web now move to the directory cd space directory name here I am missing the files type ls and enter here we have a file called sparkweb.html now we need to rename this file as index.html now I am going to rename this file as index.html for that type mv space sparkweb.html and space index dot html now list the files type ls and enter here you can see this file is renamed as index.html now open that file rim space index.html here come down we need to enter our server IP address here my server IP is 192.168.5.88 now come to this line now add this line here this is my server IP address this is the port number now save the file next we need to copy this directory to a path for that type the command cp space hyphen r space this directory name spark web and space type this path slash 
opt slash open fire slash login slash admin slash web app we need to copy this fork web file into this directory path now move to this directory path now enter here you can see the directory is copied here now we need to set some permission for this directory for that run the command ch mode space hyphen capital r space triple seven space directory name this command will give all permission for all users now here you can see this spark web directory has full permission for all users which means read write execute here you can see this directory is now owned by root user and the root group we need to change it to this user and this group for that run the command ch1 space hyphen capital r space daemon colon daemon space directory name now hit enter now check it now the ownership has been changed now all the thing is set for open fire server now we are going to open the firewall for port number 9090 this is the default port number for open fire for that run the command firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equal to 9090 and enter you need to mention the protocol this is tcp now reload the firewall hyphen hyphen reload and now we need to open the firewall for another port number for spark web which allows our client to log into the open fire server by using spark web for that run the command firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equal to 5 triple 2 slash tcp and enter now reload the firewall firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload and enter now our open fire server is configured and ready to access by the clients now i move to the client side this is my client here open the browser and now enter the following url in our browser 192.168.5.88 colon 9090 slash spark this is my server IP address this is the port number for open fire this is the spark web web-based application for our clients to log into the open fire server for instant messaging now hit enter this site may require for flash player make sure you have installed flash player plugin in your system now click here and allow now this is the login page for our clients here type the username we have created in open fire server user1 and server ip address 192.168.5.88 and the password now click login now we logged in as user1 Let's open another tab for login for user2. Enter the same URL. Login to user2 account. User2. Server IP address 192.168.5.88. And the password. Now click login.
now user 1 and user 2 is online let's chat to user 2 by using user 1 click here for finding the contacts here search for user 2 now click search here you can see user 2 account is found now click here and click start chat here you can chat with user 2 I am saying hi and enter now user 2 receives message as hi I am replying to user 1 hello here you can see user 1 gets reply as hello so this is how we configure the chat server by using OpenFire and Spark Web. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.